hello guys welcome to my channel in this tutorial you will see uh, how to use Googler's engine uh, to calculate a normalized difference vegetation index using uh, landsat 8 image so for this purpose i have written some codes uh, on this uh, console in Googler's engine so we'll see how to import landsat 8 image how to filter by using the dates in the cloud uh, coverage and we will see uh, how to write a code to calculate uh, the vegetation index finally uh, we will see how to uh, display this result on the map so first you have to import your map for this purpose i am calculating the ndvi for this uh, specific area around this above i have selected this point geometry and uh, declared it as a point and so to add landsat 8 image uh, first you have to uh, write this code this is a code that uh, used to import the landsat imagery from google engine uh, data catalog to get this code just uh, click on this search tab in the browse data and uh, this le uh, leads you to uh, the link uh, that used to uh, import the landsat 8 image or any uh, data catalog so once you get in this link, uh, you can get different types of uh, data in Google's uh, data catalog. So for uh, imagery, you can download or import Sentinel image, Landsat image, uh, Modis image or high resolution aerial image. So for this purpose, I'm going to add Landsat image uh, for calculation of any DVI. So here is the Landsat data collection. And we get different Landsat uh, satellites. So for this purpose, I'm looking for uh, Landsat 8 one. Here also, there are three different types of uh, Landsat uh, data, uh, which is highly high quality surface reflectance image, top of atmosphere image, and the raw image. So for this purpose, I'm uh, going to add this. TOA of Tire 1 and this is a code that uh, imports this Landsat image uh, data collection just copy this link and declare it as a variable here write variable this one <coughs> Landsat 8 is equal to 2 and paste the uh, previous link on this uh, uh, line and this will import the image to your map or to your code so next step is filtering this image so as you know this is the data that contains all landsat data collection so you have to filter by using your specific location again by cloud cover and the date of the data required so here uh, i'm going to declare uh, landsat or variable which is image 22 is equal to an image from this uh, source again then to filter uh, the image to your specific location you have to write this code which is landsat 8 that you have declared here landsat 8 dot filter bound and write this point geometry which is already uh, listed here you can just delete and uh, add the point that you need so i have already declared this variable as a point this is uh, my location so this is a boundary that limits the uh, data going to be added on this uh, map the, so next you have to filter the image for uh, date so i am going to add for 2022 uh, 12 more the first day to uh, 2022 12 more 31 31 uh, day so this is the date that used to filter the image by date next is uh, to filter the image in cloud so you have to import the cloud free or uh, an image that contains less uh, cloud coverage so write dot sort and write this uh, cloud coverage and uh, dot first to select the least uh, uh, cloud coverage this will add landsat image of this state with very uh, less or very low uh, cloud coverage and that covers specific uh, this specific this area next is uh, how to calculate landsat and uh, vi or vegetation index so as we know any device uh, 
green uh, red red band minus uh, near infrared band minus red over uh, near infrared plus red for this you have to uh, declare the variables so in landsat 8 image top of atmosphere the bands are uh, specified as b4 b5 b6 for band 4 b band 5 and any other bands so you have to write this one first b4 is equal to image which is this one that we have already declared before dot select b4 this selects band 4 again band 5 means image which is declared before dot select b5 this is band 5 so we have specified before means uh, landsat image band 4 again b5 means uh, landsat image band 5 so uh, you have to declare uh, variable which is any dvi of 2022 which is equal to band 5 subtract band 4 then divide band 5 uh, add band 4 and rename it as any dvi this will calculate normal different vegetation in this from these uh, variables next is how to display this result on the map canvas for that first you have to use uh, this uh, code which is map.center object bracket landsat or image 2022 this is the code that we have uh, expressed uh, the variable we have declared before comma 9 this 9 means the zoom level to display the image next is uh, specifying the color in the uh, parameters to display the normalized different vegetation index so variable any dvi parameters is equal to maximum and the minimum as we know any dvi ranges from negative one to one if the sensors collects or the uh, radiometric resolution so uh, minimum minus one and the maximum is one play this in the colors that's used to describe or pop up the and dvi value uh, so we are going to use these three colors red yellow and green this will specify the display parameters for any device. Next is to display the uh, RGB or <coughs> true color composite of band sat, land sat 8. For that, use band 4, band 3, band 2, minimum 0, maximum 300, and the gamma uh, stratus 1.4 to display land sat 8 image in uh, RGB file format. Next one is the map is that to be added in the layer in, in GE layer so to uh, to do that we have to write this code map dot add layer in dvi 2022 this one comma this parameter then rename it as in dvi 2022 next is the map layer that shows the lambda site 8 image so image of 2022 with this uh, visible parameter of true uh, color comma land site 8 image so this layer adds layer 1 as any dvi 2022 and the second layer as land site 8 image so this will import the land site 8 image which is filtered by these uh, parameters and calculate any dvi and the displays by using these uh, variables so just once we are finished you can uh, yeah so the result will be automatically added to your layer so you have two layers which is landsat 8 image and the ndvi 2022 this is it so uh, you have to change the stretch uh, type of landsat 8 image just go to this setting and uh, change this uh, range to two standard division or three standard division and apply yeah this will display this landsat 8 image this is our image and the second layer is any dvi or normalized difference vegetation index this is the result we have used three colors red yellow and the green and as we know the green color shows uh, dense vegetation or healthy vegetation and the red one shows water uh, body or water area this is a uh, lake part of this area so it is uh, pop up by red color 
and as a yellow or the green uh, pure green or dark green shows vegetated uh, highly dense vegetation area like this one so you can study your environment by using this uh, result of NDVI or normalized difference vegetation index so guys this is all about my today's tutorial and let's see you in the next video and don't forget to like subscribe and share uh, my youtube so thank you for your time